Hello everyone, it's Gomrath here, and I am continuing my Notable Pets from Every Family series, and we are down to critters. I actually skipped them when I went from beasts to dragons, but we're back. Now, critters I think are particularly useful. These first three that I have are very useful in the SS breed. Um, the first one I want to talk about is just your SS hair. Now there is mountain cottontails, there's arctic hares, there's all kinds of hares that you can get that can roll the SS breed. Now what makes them super useful is 357 speed. That is faster than almost every single pet in the game with an exception of flying types that are above 50% health and the cheetah pet. Okay, there's nobody else who's faster than an SS hare other than those. And what makes them really valuable is the dodge burrow combo where they can go three turns without being hit and yeah they're just they're really great pets they're fantastic in pvp and in pve um i almost always run flurry uh dodge and burrow flurry is also a decoy breaker for pvp so that's the an ss hair now the next pet i want to talk about here is the frost for rat now the frost for rat and the blind rat are exactly the same same breeds same stats same everything and i love this guy for pvp he is a monster because he has call darkness and sneak attack which synergize really really well together and you combine that with crouch uh this guy really can last a very long time uh he's got a little bit less health than normal uh He's got a tiny bit less attack than normal, but he has a really high speed rating. He will outspeed the Fiendish Imp, and I think he even outspeeds the Wicked Soul. Um, Power Power Breed is also really solid, uh, but I've just decided, especially in PvP, I like to prioritize speed. So, snag yourself a Frost for Rat or a Blind Rat from the Sewers of Dalarand. Now, this next one here is kind of interesting. It caught me off guard in a PVP match and holy cow he did some serious work now this is a bandicoon and what makes the bandicoon really powerful is this move set right here okay so tongue lash does an additional um, attack if it goes first and this guy already has 325 speed but if he power balls once or twice he will be faster even than flying type pets who are already who are above 50% health because it increases your speed by 20% and 20% of 325 is a lot let's see if it was so what is that 60 something yeah because it'd be 32.25 so uh, 60 it's like 65 speed so using powerball once would put you at 390 speed and if you use it twice you'd be at like 450 or something stupid high and What's awesome is, you'll, let's say you've got that speed and you're about to die, you use survival, then you use tongue lash, and then you switch out into a different pet. And you can come back into the bandicoon once survival is off cooldown, use it again, and then get in another two attacks before dying. So he can just last a really long time, uh, especially after he's supposed to be dead. So try him for PvP. Now, the second set of pets that I wanted to talk about really briefly here were snails. I, in all my videos I make reference to how snails are kind of the unsung hero of pet battles. That they're just really really strong pets that don't get at least the kind of glamour and recognition that a lot of other pets do. But they're the double counters to elementals and then they also are fantastic versus flying pets. If you run ooze touch they are great versus humanoids if you're running absorb and they have acidic goo which increases the damage taken by 25 percent so really they just have huge health pools they've got decent power ratings um yeah i mean so base power is 260 and this guy has 45 more power uh than just base so i mean he's slow as you can possibly be but just really great so i'd recommend health power and health health snails uh those are awesome uh perky he's actually kind of fun i've been playing with him a little bit more uh he's a critter type that has beast type moves and he also has a big heal um 478 is a very very solid heal 
for somebody who doesn't have that high of a power rating. 322, I mean, that is that is pretty high, uh, especially for not a pure breed. But give him a try, you know? Run Burrow. It's not quite as useful because his speed rating isn't that high. But, um, yeah. Also, over these two heels, go perk up over Buried Treasure because he just did... It's always better when you have a high power rating to go for um, a power that's or a heal that's based off of power rather than just off of health. If he was a health health breed, I would go for a buried treasure, but he's not. Now, the last pet on this list I want to talk about is Trashy. Okay, and Trashy is one interesting little guy because he has uh, three moves, or well, two moves that are unique to him, and one that I don't know if any let's see types critters let's see does anyone else have feign death okay two other pets have feign death the molgor hatchling and egbert but trashy also has this move right here dumpster dive leap up and high becoming unattackable and then on the next round you do 370 to 556 critter damage which is really really high uh for a critter so it's basically like a critter version of liftoff and if you powerball once or twice you can get your speed high enough where you can use this as a dodge so that's why i like that combo and then he also has family reunion uh which is basically stampede so yeah this is this is stampede so what i would do is i would do a stampede and then do dumpster dive it's just a combo that would crush basically anybody so those are the critters that i would check out um i really like the critter family i think they're really fun and the pets are super cool looking i, I love the way the lamb looks um i'm leveling up a wolpertinger right now and the giant swivel red is cool Partly just because he's so enormous. If you feed this guy one of the pets that doubles it, or the biscuits that doubles your pet size, I don't think I have any on Gomorath here, but he's like as big as a character. I used it on my undead and I had him follow me and he was just about as big as my mount. So he's cool. But anyway, that does it for Critter Families. If you found this video helpful, a like rating would always be appreciated. And have a pleasure. Well, it was a pleasure gaming with you and have a great night.